So let's suppose that a ball with a mass of 200 grams is traveling with a velocity of 40 meters per second and our ball comes to a complete stop over a distance of 30 centimeters. So we want to find two things. We want to calculate the initial kinetic energy of the object and the, the average net force acting on the object to stop it. Now the reason we're asking for the average force and not the force is because our force is non-constant. It varies. And so we want to find the average net force. So let's begin with part A. We want to find the initial kinetic energy of our object. So initially our object is in motion. It's moving with a velocity of 40 meters per second. So we can find our kinetic energy of the ball by using our formula. One half mass times V squared. So we know what V is, it's 40 meters per second. We know what our mass is, it's 200 grams. But we want to convert it to kilograms. So divide 200 by 1000 and we get 0 0.2 kilograms. So multiply these two things out, multiply by one half and we get 160 joules. So initially when our object that has a mass of 200 grams that is moving with a velocity of 40 meters per second, initially it has a kinetic energy of 160 joules. Now, in order to stop our object, we have to apply a force, an average force, and we have to do work on our object to stop that object. Now, the amount of work, the amount of energy we need to take away from the object is equal to this quantity. So, in step B, to find the average force acting on the object, we simply use our formula, work equals force times displacement. So we know the work, this is how much work we must do on the object to make it stop. So 160 joules of work is equal to our average force multiplied by our displacement over which our average force acts to stop our object. So we divide both sides by 0.3 meters and we get an average force of approximately 533 newtons. So it requires this average force acting on the object pointing in this direction to stop our object that has initial velocity of this much, uh, a mass of this much, over a distance of 0.3 meters.